morning, my soccer universe. New greeting, I came up with it. It's very tacky, but that's all right. Uh, quick video only. Um, I assume Manchester City beat the hell out of Burton Albion yesterday, so I'm not gonna talk about that. Uh, I haven't seen the result. I wanna talk about transfers a little bit. Uh, seemingly, the Piontek to Milan transfer is a done deal. Uh, very surprising in, in a way as it has been all around um, and that kind of is the domino that needed to fall for a bunch of other transfers to go through so I, I, there was a lot hinging on that one and it basically was all down to finances because you know um, financial fair play that's I, that's I think the main reason why Egoin is moving uh, I think if Milan made the indication that they want to keep Egoin uh, I don't think it will necessarily have happened that Egoin goes to Chelsea. Uh, yes, Chelsea needs desperately a striker uh, and Mazzari. Uh, uh, Sari uh, likes Egoin a lot. I just have a feeling that you know the situation at Milan for Egoin became really bad, especially after this Juventus game. Uh, where he just completely lost it and then in addition the comments made and then the bad form of Milan uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it, it got quite messy uh, especially in December where you really had to fear that it, you know a solution needed to be found I'm sorry I just adjusted too much um, if there weren't a if the salary of Iguain wouldn't be that high and you know there was quite a substantial fee but it, it was about the same now that they paid for Piontek but the salary is a lot less so you know you, you gotta fit this into the financial fair play and that's unfortunately the problem that Milan has um, at the moment and they have to gotta, 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 gotta deal, deal with it. I'm not sure if Piontek is the solution but Gish looking at his goal a scoring record I am cautiously optimistic, but of course he needs to now find his way into the squad. I mean, this is a mid-season transfer, so yeah, uh, remains to be seen how well this, this will go. Um, Igo in at Chelsea, that could actually work quite well, because Chelsea really has been missing an upfront striker, uh, big time. And that might actually free Azar from uh, this role. Of I think it could work quite well. I don't think it will be spectacular, although who knows. Uh, but I think this could work out quite well uh, for Chelsea because now they have a target man uh, that also has a good work rate. I mean, that's the one thing that I'm a little bit sad about Iguain because he's a hard working striker. He worked well with Putrone uh, up until that point. I think the Juventus game was basically the break. Uh, the breaking point where uh, it just couldn't be resolved well, um, and yeah, it's a little bit—it's uh, a shame, on, 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 honestly. And now, uh, Chelsea, now Chelsea can also unload Morata to Atletico, and we'll see what other transfers will will follow. The big thing for Milan was that they now have to pay for Piontek the thirty—I think it was thirty-six million euros. Uh, which they really wanted to actually add some players in so they don't have to play, but seemingly Genoa didn't want that. Uh, the return for Genoa is sensational. I, 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 I think they played, they paid 2 million, 3 million euros for Piontek to get him, and now uh, they're getting a, re a return for uh, 36. I mean, that's pretty good. And they even. The asking price was 40, well, they went in their negotiations, so it's now 35, 36, which I guess, yeah, um, is also in favor, but Milan has to pay up front. Well, it's gonna be interesting. Um, the other transfer that stunned me is Boateng to Barcelona, which at the first point didn't make too much sense for me. Boateng is still a workable player for a medium-sized team like Sassuolo, uh, you know, uh, he played well at Frankfurt, he also, I think he had some good stints, um, 
here and there. I when he was at Milan in his first stint, he was my he he he, he was an absolute favorite player of mine. Uh, I really liked his uh, skill, his dy uh, dynamic play, um, and but you could also see that when he left, I think in 2013, that this was basically yeah, uh, he was not well integrated in that squad. You know, he he, he was only a side player. <coughs> Ah, excuse me, I have a cold. So, yeah. He was only, you know, he didn't break a squad anymore at Schalke. He basically had a good start, but then it went downhill. So, yeah, he had his good times and bad times. Uh, him at Barcelona at first didn't make any sense to me, but then um, if you think about it, um, he is a very flexible player. He can play uh, as a striker and he can play as uh, a little bit of a further back in midfield. So let's say if Suarez is out, he might plug well in there. Uh, if um, Dembele is out, Ditto. Uh, if you want to give Messi a rest, I, I don't think he will be in any way a substitute for Messi, but you know. Um, Continue all those. I mean, now Barcelona has, has has a lot more options, and they needed another forward since they got rid of Munir Al Haddadi. But that was anyway. I mean, this guy had only two uh, two games this year, and I, I don't think that Boateng will get more. But you know, it gives Barcelona some options, and it's absolutely no risk. It's a loan deal, uh, and that's that. Um, I read that he was a little bit unhappy. You know, sad. Not unhappy said uh, of leaving Sassuolo because uh, he felt well there well I take it for granted but you know if you have the career this is basically a huge move I mean going to Barcelona it's that's a huge one uh, other news uh, well, not on the transfer market but uh, with Tottenham <laughs> Nadele Ali is injured Oh, you gotta worry. You, need, you gotta worry for Tottenham, honestly. Uh, the depth of the squad is what worries me with them. And Dele Alli is, I think, Kane and Dele Alli, those are the two players that I feel cannot really be replaced adequately. But, uh, let's see. Uh, the program is not that bad, except for the Dortmund games, and I'm. Unfortunately, I would think that the Dortmund games are now not as great as they would have been if Tottenham uh, was Spurs were at full strength. Ah, yeah, and then uh, PSG were, had some transfer trouble. I don't know exactly. I think it had something that they registered uh, the race of the player, which is forbidden, so they had to play a fine there. And speaking of France, the absolutely devastating news, of course, is uh, Salah, who was the record signing for Card Cardiff City from Nantes. Um, and yeah, his plane from Nantes to Cardiff um, got lost seemingly. And I think we all know what this means. I honestly think that they won't be able to find him. Gotta be realistic. I think it would be a miracle uh, if they, if he is still alive. And I'm absolutely. Uh, it's it's really uh, horrible news. Absolutely horrible news. But you know, gotta face reality. Uh, it's just sad. Well, on that bum note, I'm gonna end it here. Another Asian Cup jersey review tonight. Hope you enjoyed these. Uh, it's quite in interesting to see the jerseys that are in the Asian Cup, honestly. Uh, especially, there is even more, there's less variety, but there's more uh, monotonicity, uh, especially among the uh, Ara Arabic teams. Uh, that always, I always in disbelief about it, but yeah. It's interesting and the most common brand, Yakko, is also very interesting to me. Okay, um, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. Let me know in the comments below what you think about all these transfer rumors that I've been talking about now. Uh, how you see these moves. Uh, anything you want to tell me. 
just drop a like below, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this, and I'm going to talk to you very soon. Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that might be of interest to you too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will give you all the updates on my channel, all things My Soccer Universe. And with that, I want to wish you a wonderful day.